safety pin on my keyboard. <sighs> Flight risk. It's kind of serious. You guys don't even understand how excited this gets me. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, the day after Father's Day. Um, I don't know what the date is, and I decided that I'm going to be filming my day and show you guys a little date in my life as a business owner slash social media manager, and just take you guys along kind of the step-by-step. -step. I think I just planned out my day last night, and I think it's going to be a pretty like typical day, so I think this will be a good one to show you guys. First things first, woke up super early to my boyfriend saying goodbye. I didn't get up yet. Usually I will get up when he gets up and hit the gym. But I was pretty dead this morning, just trying to get back from the weekend. I'm not sure why, I was just super exhausted. So it's 8 a.m., I already did my skincare, got up, showered off, um, and now I need to start the day. That makes me feel really behind, honestly. I usually like to get up at 6, 6.30, and be doing all this by 7, but that's okay. I do want to get dressed, make my bed and everything, but the first thing I need to do is pay my employees because I forgot to do it on Friday. Um, I'm a small one woman team right here as the owner, so sometimes I make mistakes and that was one of them. So I'm gonna pay my girls real quick and then we are gonna start the step-by-step -step process of a typical day in my life. So to pay my girls, I first go on to Google Sheets, where I have a shared Google Sheet with each of them where they can log their hours. Um, they all look the same, but a different one for each employee. It's called Coast Time Sheet. And then they pretty much have them put in there the date, how, many, how long they worked that day, how many hours it was, what they accomplished within those hours, and then there's a place for me to check off where I pay them. And now I'm just gonna take a look at Oh, what they did and how much I owe them. Once I see how many hours they've worked, I will go to my calculator and calculate that by their hourly pay. Okay, and then I will go to their preferred payment method, which is like Venmo or Zelle, and I will send them their pay from my business account. This is kind of the way, I guess I do it as a small business. Obviously, if your business is like, a bunch of employees and you have like a team accountants whatever they would handle all of this for you but I just I like to be really hands-on and um, keep my like I've been able to keep my team small at this point so it's been pretty easy just paid the girls and also sent them emails about what I need them to do for this week so now I kind of gonna like restart my morning by making my bed, cleaning up. I can't start my day without a clean apartment. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so I just cleaned up my apartment and then got ready for the day. Um, I always pretty much this time of day put on workout clothes, so there's like no excuse why I shouldn't go to the gym as soon as I'm done working. This shirt I got yesterday from Free People Movement and I'm obsessed. Like you don't have to wear a bra with it or anything. The material is like really thick and amazing. And just thought you guys should know if you want to get this, that Free People Movement now, not an ad, just absolutely obsessed. Um, so yeah, that's usually the first thing I do in the morning is I have to clean everything. Another thing I usually do first thing in the morning after that's finished is I will go to the gym. I try to go to the gym twice a day, so I usually go really early. But recently, I haven't been able to do that first thing as much because I've noticed that if I go to the gym really early in the morning, the whole time I'm there, I'm just thinking about work and what I have to do for the day. 
and that actually just really stresses me out and I don't get a good workout in. So I'm not really forcing that anymore. I'm trying to kind of readjust my strategy where the first thing I do each day is get all of the things that clients are relying on out of the way. So I'll wake up, get ready for the day, clean up the apartment, and I will immediately do all of my posting. So a lot of my client posting right now has been taken over by my employees. I try to make sure everyone is taken care of um, and get all their posting done, which is typically best by like spreading out you know, who's posting for who, but um, I have a little bit to post myself and then I also post all of my own content and edit all of my own content. So that's what I try to do first. I wanna get out of the way anything that involves people relying on me because otherwise I'll think about that all day long. And then after that, I'll go downstairs and go to the gym or I will go to Equinox. I've been trying to go to Equinox midday rather than as my evening gym session because Obviously, it's super crowded in the evening when everyone gets off work in midday. It's pretty nice and empty, but it just depends on what time I have a class, if I want to do Pilates or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to, now that I'm ready and my apartment's all cleaned up, I'm going to do all of my posting for the day. Now, usually I play like a YouTube video, music, or some type of focus music in the background. Um, if there's too much quiet going on, I kind of go crazy, like as someone who's working from home by myself. I don't see it or talk to anybody all day long. I'm not a huge meeting person. Like I believe if something can be said over email, <laughs> I'm gonna say it that way or if I can text it, that's what I'm gonna do. That's another reason why I like being my own boss. Um, I'm not, I get to kind of do things the way that I want them structured. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should be calling your team every day, blah, 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 blah. I don't think that's necessary. If that's not necessary, I'm not gonna be doing it because not everybody needs their time wasted. So if I can send it over email like I did this morning, that's what I'm gonna do. I, like my girls know what they're doing. We had calls when they were training and you know now they know how to do all that. So I'll send them an email, do this, this, this. Obviously if they have questions, they can call me, but like it doesn't really happen. If I can email you, I'm gonna email you. Filming's kinda nice because I'm hearing my own voice and like remembering that I'm a human being. Typically if I'm not filming for YouTube, which I am today, I'm filming like a vlog for my TikTok. TikTok above, follow me. We're gonna go ahead and do that, do my posting, and then we're gonna hit the gym sesh number one. We might only get one in today, I'm not sure. But that is what I'm going to do now. sending all of my emails. I responded to a couple of brand deals and did a majority of my posting. I did all the posting that like other people rely on me for, but I just have a couple things left for myself. 10 o'clock, or it's probably around this time, I'm going to eat some breakfast, and today I'm gonna have some mini wheats. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast now while I finish up the last like 10 minutes of what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and and then I'm just gonna go to my gym downstairs um, so I can work on a couple more things on the treadmill. Then I can come right back upstairs and get back to filming my own content. Um, typically after my first gym sesh, the posting's done, the gym's done, that's when I can finally start filming. So I need to film a bunch of content, come up with some ideas for my TikTok and my social media. So that'll be next. I ate my breakfast and finished posting. It's now 11.30. I kind of took longer than I thought it would to finish everything up, but I finished everything, everything. So I am 100% done posting for clients, myself. Everything that I need to do today is done. So that's why I do it in the morning. If I get really focused in, it'll only take me a couple hours to do everything that stresses me out so i did that first got it all out of the way and now i'm going to hit the gym um i did decide that after the gym i'm going to run some errands and get some video supplies usually when i'm on the treadmill i will place an order for groceries or supplies to be delivered to the house just because it makes things easier but i actually have a video i want to film at the grocery store with these new grocery bags i'm using so i will be going in person so I'm gonna head down to the gym now, get on the treadmill, and while I'm on the treadmill, I'm gonna edit and post a TikTok video and plan out my ideas that I wanna film for the rest of the day. I'm trying to get a little bit extra done today because tomorrow I have my life insurance guy coming over in the morning. 
and I'll be signing my new life insurance policy around this time tomorrow and then my friend Reeve is coming over to tan by the pool and have a little pool afternoon because it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. But since I have two things going on tomorrow, we want to get a little bit of extra filming done today, posting. So yeah, that's what's next. We're going to go to the gym, we're going to get the supplies, we're going to film the videos, then we're going to probably work ahead for tomorrow and I'm feeling good. I love Mondays. I love this shirt. I love this color. I'm trying to wear a little bit more color recently because I'm such a white clothing person like I literally only wear white all the time but when I'm tan I like to wear a little bit of color so I'm just feeling good I'm feeling a little bit confident today because I've been struggling with that recently but we're back on track and we're happy and we're excited so let's go to the gym another thing that I wanted to mention is that I know a lot of people have trouble with working from home and being self-employed like not from an office but my apartment has a really nice business center that I go to a lot. I'm just not going today because I don't want to be like vlogging and talking in there. But I like going down there a lot too. Down. I got a book too. I might try to read a chapter. I'm trying to get better about reading. Um, it's just not something I ever think about having time for. But I know that I need to make a little bit more time for it. Walked a couple miles, um, had to cut it a little bit short today because I need to get to the store while my mind is still in it and honestly I just really have to go to the bathroom so we will go again later. <laughs> the videos that I planned out to do are going to be bedside table restocks which is like basically my bedside table just a bunch of random ish and I'm gonna like do a little restock da 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 in both my boyfriend's side of the bed and mine again for those who don't know we do not live together he has his own apartment but he has spent the night every night since I've moved in here so basically it's kind of serious so I'm gonna go to the store and look for like a bunch of cute little things to put in the bedside table like mini chapsticks, water balls, I don't know, whatever I want to put in a bedside table. And then I'm also going to do a juice restock of these three like juice bottles I have. So I'm gonna get fruit to make like different types of juice and water. My camera died, but what I was saying is I'm gonna do a video with these grocery bags that I got that like hang on your cart and allows you to separate all of your groceries. And then I have two big packages to return to Amazon, but they're heavy. So we're gonna take multiple trips probably going down the stairs. They were um, items that I got for videos and ended up not filming. Like one of them was this little ironing board and little did I know it doesn't even come with the iron and I don't wanna buy an iron because I have a steamer and that would just be annoying. Let's go to the store and Amazon locker to return those packages. You guys don't even understand how excited this gets me. I've been going crazy because I could have sworn I bought toilet paper for my apartment and haven't been able to find it. And here it is, in my car, as it should be. That whole experience was honestly atrocious and I knew it would be because where I return these packages, the parking is mm, not a thing. It's just like a disaster of street parking. So I ended up having to park two blocks away after circling the block three times and I had to take multiple trips to my car. Anyways. It's just frustrating. It doesn't make it easy. I get anxiety if I don't know where I'm gonna park when I go somewhere. So, wasn't ideal. But, now we're gonna head to Target. I think that's where I can get everything from like groceries to restocks to all that good stuff. Even though it's gonna be a little bit overpriced. Um, I love a good Target run. So, we're gonna go do that now. We here. So typically the first place I go is the travel area and I put a bunch of minis in there for all my restock videos. And for the bedside tables, I need a lot of this stuff. These were the bags I was doing my video on. I stocked them up with so much stuff. I think I spent like $400 <laughs> in mini bathroom supplies, but it will get a lot of content out of it. Forced myself to bring everything up in one trip. Kind of kicked my ass. Now I have to record a clip of me putting all the bags on the table. Doing this TikTok stuff really makes everything kind of go in slow motion because 
you have to record everything you do. So like, I can't just come in and put my groceries away. I have to set up my stuff to film it. It's kind of funny, but it's better than working in an office. Move everything out of the way. Check my shot. And that's that. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then eat a little snack and get ready to film some content. It's a beautiful day outside and I honestly wanna go lay by the pool, but I'm doing that tomorrow and I need to just get a lot done today, so gonna have to pass, but I'll show you the view. Ugh, damn. It is 3.15 and I just finished two videos. I did a guest bathroom restock and I did the bedside tables. Whenever I'm filming videos, it's really tedious because I have to redo the shots a bunch and I have to make sure I like the lighting's right and that I like the video. And sometimes even after focusing that much, I don't like the video when it's done. Now as an example, I haven't even edited the bedside table video yet and I know it's just probably not that great. And that's frustrating for me when I, you know, spend $400 and my videos are not turning out how I want them to. But that's just part of the day, you know, creating content. That's kind of what it's like. So I need to take a break from that now because I feel like my brain is fried just from looking at the camera, moving the camera, looking at the camera. So I'm going to chill out for a sec on the couch, put something on a YouTube video while I check in with my employees, see how the day is going, see how their work is going and just kind of switch into something else as a little bit of a brain break slash screen break um, before I get back into filming probably just one other video today. So let's take a break and then finish out what's next. I also need to make some lunch soon. I'm not a huge lunch person. Typically I'll have like a yummy breakfast and then I'll just kind of snack throughout the day and then my boyfriend and I will make dinner or buy dinner at night. I'm probably gonna just grab a snack, but I will see what's calling my name. It is 4.30 now. I have reached my maximum point of looking at a screen for right now. I edited some of my videos and I didn't film anymore, but I can film a few in the morning since I at least got all the supplies. For two more videos so I'm glad I got the bathroom restock done I think that that'll be a good video that hopefully performs well somewhere um, and then I guess I'm also gonna get <sighs> this YouTube video done so that's something um, I think that something that as a social media manager slash content creator like all of the screen time takes it out of me more than you would think like just constantly remembering no matter what you do to be filming it and like fixing the shot like I said earlier and like it's almost like life moves in slow motion because you just have to keep stopping and filming and filming and like it's frustrating because you can't just go about your day and that's kind of why things get done slower and I'm not like a person who's okay with getting things done slower I'm like a stick to the schedule type of being but I wouldn't trade it for anything I mean I've always wanted this to be my job so pretty nuts that it is and I'm really grateful for that yeah I need to take a second now to disconnect although I'm not gonna fully disconnect because I'm gonna go to the gym and probably do some more work while I'm there catch up on more emails and outreach emails for my company All right, I'm gonna go to the gym gym round two one more thing that I actually wanted to add is that I think probably a lot of people who are clicking this video because it's called like day in the life of a business owner or whatever I call it are gonna be like oh how is that all of your day like I thought that business business ownership was like a day and night thing how are you focusing on content like and not posting for clients constantly if you're making money being successful and I have passed the point of working like 15 hour days posting all day long for clients and I spend a lot of money to not have to do that um, I am paying various people to post different things and help me with different things for my clients. I am the one who's getting the clients, building the strategies. I'm in charge of everything that po gets posted. Nothing is posted without it being sent to me, run by me, and I'm overseeing it all. I'm not the one that has to physically do 
every little thing anymore because I've worked past that point and hired people to do that for me because of the type of lifestyle I want to live and also I'm just in a season of my life right now where I want to focus on content creation if we went back two months ago to where I wasn't posting on TikTok and I wasn't doing my own social media then I would be doing client work all day long but since my TikTok blew up about a month ago and I've started working on that that is kind of why I had to quickly hire people get people on to help me with my clients so I could also focus on growing my platforms because that helps my business. If people see that I am doing good with my own social media, they will understand that I can do the same for them. So it's almost like building a following for myself is also helping me to build trust in my company and a following in my company and just prove to myself that like I really know what I'm doing. So I am still really hands on with my clients. Nothing you know, goes up without me. Like I said, seeing it, being in charge of it, creating the strategy, bringing on the new clients, but I have been able to take a step back from all the little tedious things because I'm paying other people to do it. Yeah, my day could look a lot crazier with me sitting at a desk and posting all day long. It did for a while, but like I said, I've just gone to a point where I would rather pay someone else to do that so that I can live a little bit more freely and kind of embrace other things at the moment. And it may not seem like work also when I'm just like, filming a little video, but like that video is gonna go up on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, all these different platforms to help grow my accounts, to help build trust in my company and just grow like my business as a whole, I guess. And like you saw earlier, it's not cheap either. Like went and spent $400 at Target for like two short form 30 second videos. There is a lot more that goes into it than I think it looks like. Cause I know I'm just like, oh, like going about my day, I'm gonna play on my computer and then I'm gonna make a little video. Like, but I swear there's a lot that goes into it and it can be exhausting and you do have to get part past the hard part first before I was able to hire people. And even some days when I'm, you know, do have employees, but things are a little bit crazy, especially at the end of the month when I'm sending out like monthly reviews, collecting payments, all things like that. It can get a little crazier, but this is kind of just like a midweek when things are in a really good motion right now. And I have two really good employees right now that work on Mondays. So they're both working today. So that makes things a little bit easier. Anyways, just a little spiel to give you a little bit more of an insight on why it seems like so chill to be living this lifestyle. I don't want to make it seem like this is like my everyday because to get this, I do a lot more than this. <laughs> I'm done and I just showered off. I am feeling a little bit crappy since it is that time of the month out of nowhere. I'm struggling to not go binge my whole kitchen before dinner, but I'm gonna try to distract myself and just get back to a little bit of work. In the evening, I always do a lot of stuff on my computer just to prepare for, I'm breaking out too. Uh, prepare for the rest of the week and just tomorrow morning. Like I said earlier, I want to get kind of get a head start on tomorrow's work so I can go to the pool tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Last night I ended up just eating dinner and going to bed. My boyfriend was here, so I was not recording, but that is pretty much it. That's a normal day in my life. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you next week. Bye.